Hashem, we're going to learn a little bit more from the wonderful, amazing book of Likutei Moran, Torah 55. Rabbeinu is saying, you should know that if you want the wicked people to fall and you want to see that, so you cannot achieve that just only by the aspect of Eretz Israel. This is it, we finished this class. Rabbi Sai, make Aliyah, come to Eretz Israel. You cannot see the evil people falling until you have the aspect of Eretz Israel. This is it. Thank you very much. No, no, I'm kidding. You want to know what it means, Eretz Israel? I'm going to tell you. Bivchinat shev li imini adashit oivecha adom el reaglecha. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying to us, sit close to me until that I'm going to conquer all of your enemies. Means that when you're in Eretz Israel, you sit close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And when you're not in Eretz Israel, you're not sitting close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Yamin ze b'chinat Eretz Yisrael, the right side, it's an aspect of Eretz Yisrael. B'chinat bin Yamin, ben Yamin, the son of Yaakov, shenolad be'eretz Yisrael, that he born in Eretz Yisrael. It's written in Tehillim, wonderful Tehillim of David HaMelech, alav ha-shalom. That David HaMelech is saying to us that in Judgment Day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to check who from the sons of of Am Israel, the people of Am Israel, born in Jerusalem to inherit the world to come. Everyone that borns in Jerusalem, he's gonna inherit the world to come. Jeru Jerusalem have that ability. If you born there, you lad sham. If you born over there, that Eliyahu and Navi gonna testify, he born over there in Jerusalem. This is it. You have a share in the world to come. If in, even if you don't have that merit, haven't born in Jerusalem, you can still bring your boys to Eretz Israel. That your grandsons or your boys and girls are going to be born in Eretz Israel. Grandsons going to be born in Eretz Israel. This is the land of Am Israel. This is the promised land. When one time Rabbeinu was talking about Eretz Israel, so Rabbi Nathan had a huge question. When he asked him, what are you talking about? Which is that aspect of Eretz Israel that you're talking about? Rabbeinu was looking at him very strict and told him, I'm talking about the physical Eretz Israel, the one with the houses and the apartments, Abatim Vadirot. On that Eretz Israel we're all talking about. Raboy Sai, Raboy Sai. Rav Shalom said once, that they're going to come a day that people will not going to have their time to take their clothes and to come to Eretz Israel. They're going to run naked to Eretz Israel. We don't want to come to that place. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is waiting that all of you are going to sell your properties, going to come here to Eretz Israel, buy something, even if it's going to be more modest, going to be a little bit smaller. You have your abilities. Not everyone have to live in the center, not everyone have to live in Jerusalem, in Rechavia, in Talbiye. Everyone can find his place, the place that is fit for the source, the root of your soul. Everyone have a place here in Eretz Israel. And you don't have to buy a house, you can rent a house, you can work like that you're working now in England, in United States, in Canada, in Germany, in... France, wherever you are, in Australia, in Alaska, in Ukraine, you're more than welcome here. You're more than welcome to come, to make Aliyah, to come to Eretz Israel. It's not an impossible thing at all. Just the Yetzirah is talking to you and trying to convince you that it's impossible. But everyone that is trying and is not dropping the will and is keep on praying on that, he can achieve that. And he's coming and he's making it. When I was in Uman last, I think it was two years ago, one year and a half in Rosh Hashanah, came to me an American Jew and told me that he wants to make Aliyah and but his wife, it's too hard for her. I asked him why, why it's too hard? She said, because of Parnassah, we don't know what to do with money, where we're going to work, what I'm going to do. We have five kids and one of them is a special kid and we need therapists and we need this and that. And where are we going to find our income? So I told him, and what are you doing now in the United States? So he told me, I'm washing buildings, stairs, floors in buildings. 
told him, nice. You're making so much money that because of that you cannot do the same here in Eretz Yisrael. It's just imaginations, Rabbi Isai. It's just imaginations. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, He is the one that supplies your panasa over there now in the place that you are. And for sure that He's going to take care of you here in Eretz Yisrael. There is no doubt about it. And if you're praying on something, for sure you're going to be answered. So what you have to do? Just to dedicate few minutes or half an hour every day to talk on that subject. Please, Ribbono Shel Olam, open my heart that I'm going to have a desire to for Eretz Yisrael. Open my eyes that I'm going to recognize the path, that I will not going to be afraid to step and to walk on that path. Let me see the right ways how to do that. Let me find sources of Parnassah. Let me connect myself to people that already done that, people that succeeding. Not to talk to the ones that failed to the ones that mm, mm, fell down back to the place that they were before. Let me talk to people that made it. Let me connect myself to people that are praying. Let me connect myself to righteous people, that people that Hashem is helping them, that they have siyata dishmaya. And Bezrat Hashem, Hashem like that you helped me until today. Go with confidence. Nachshon ben Aminadav, he jumped into the sea, into the uh, Red Sea. He jumped into the Red Sea. He's not afraid. We're not allowed to be afraid. We have to jump. We have to try. If you're not going to try, you're never going to um, um, drop all of the fears and anxieties that you have. <laughs> Why to let those anxieties to bury us, Chas Shalom, abroad? Why not to conquer our Yetzirah and to go straight toward to Hashem Barach to tell Hashem, look Hashem, I'm doing for you. Please do things for me. I'm trying. I'm packing my things now trying to sell my properties now. Please Hashem, open the path for me, give me options, give me abilities, give me the wisdom, give me to know, the knowledge, to know what I should do. If you're going to do that for sure, Hashem going to be with you. Like all of us, we all came from the exile. If it's in this generation, if it's in the last generation. My father came when he was six from Egypt. My mother's father and mother came from Europe and Ukraine, Ukraine from from in, in when they were 25 or, or 30. So, and they came. So I born here, Baruch Hashem, in Jerusalem. You should be envious. You should want also your kids to born in Jerusalem. This is the promised land. This is the safest place in the world. Safest place in the world, even though that I'm contradicting CBS and uh, how it all, what's the names? CNN, CBS, Al Jazeera, all of those nonsense, we contradict them. But we are saying to you from a real source, you should know this is the most safe place in the world. It's amazing here, it's wonderful here. You're all more than welcome to come, to live with us. A lot of apartments, thousands of empty houses over there across the street. You're more than welcome, all of you are boys, just come. Thank you very much. Chazaku Baruch.